as if I didn't need any more stuff. We went on a trip today to get this and came back with that. Um, guy had a whole bunch of other stuff uh, that wasn't advertised. Spider web. It grabbed as much as I could. Um, this is a Bendix. A Bendix television. And this was listed as $75. And um, when I opened it up, the CRT socket was disintegrated. And the CRT was. CRT neck was just kind of floating around in there, still still connected. Um, so he just gave me this. Um, I went upstairs and I found this and the Steelman and Silvertone record players. That's just that's not included. He brought this down. Thought I would be interested in it. It is like an absolutely cherry. Setchel Carlson. We looked in this and it was. It was in good shape. I uh, don't know what this is. Probably vertical. It's probably brightness. No, that's probably brightness. It's probably contrast. So this is a Sechel Carlson, and it was pretty good on the inside. It's missing a few tubes, but they ended up being in the bottom there. What the first one we're going to look at, we're going to assess all this stuff in this video. First thing we're going to look at is the uh, Bendix. All this will have repair videos by itself. Um, so I need flathead and a this. So let's open this thing up. I didn't get a good look at it. I just got a quick look in the store. So let's let's get her open. what I mean by baked socket sockets just absolutely destroyed it's a power transformer set 5v4 I don't know should we open the high voltage cage see how bad the flyback looks Noise control. 24 inch picture tube, I think. Or 21 inch. I don't know. Definitely a smoker set, though. That really worries me. What well, it should say on here. 250 watts. Nope. It doesn't say. So we'll pop pop this off. You can see it's been popped many times before. And uh, look what the flyback looks like. Look what the uh, how much wax is in the bottom. So we'll do that. Oh, we got a screw in here. Nice. Flyback doesn't look too bad. This is definitely a high hour unit. Still uses an ion trap. I believe this set is a 54. Cathode doesn't look all blue. Doesn't mean it hasn't gone to air either. Sure. Connections for the antenna. This is a uh, VHF UHF set from 1954, which is quite rare. You you bought a Bendix. How to turn on and tune your Bendix television? Show you how to adjust your Bendix television. I wish they'd give us schematics. No, 
now. I'm not going to get schematics. So, I don't even know if I want to test the tube just because it's so fragile. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to leave this alone for now. Kind of a weird chassis design. It's got the old focus magnets. The unfortunate about the picture tube, um, I don't want to break that. The last thing I want to do is just break the CRT, the wires going to the CRT. This is the focus control. Looks like it was bent down, you know, probably what cracked the uh, socket in the first place. So anyways, um, we're going to move on to the Setchel Carlson, give it a good inspection. I know quite a few tubes are missing out of that. I don't know what I want to do with this thing, especially after inspecting this more. Um, I think I, I may have a solution uh, to just burn the whole TV. No, it's... Uh, Wrapping this many, many, many times with electrical tape and uh, praying that it doesn't come loose again. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I don't... Oh, no. See? See those two pins? Yeah, this thing is toast. Those two pins are broken, or they're not connected to anything, I think. No, they're not connected to anything. All of our wires are on this side. So we lucked out there. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap this thing in electrical tape many, many times over and just pray that it, it holds on. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I think I got it. I had to super carefully remove the socket so I could wrap it around. And I think I got it. It's pretty tight. I'm going to go grab the CRT tester. Hey, the filament's glowing. Good news. Ooh, we already got emissions. Nice. I did save this one. Awesome. All right, let's let this thing bake. It's going down. 6.3 volts. This sucker cooking up. Four, yeah, marginal. I mean, that's what I'm. That's what I'm seeing here, especially in the the how much it looks like it's been used. But good, we saved this one. I'm I'm happy about that. Very happy about that. This one, this one has saved. Heck yeah, we're already up at 600 mili micro -amp, microamps. So, yeah, no read you've needed on this one. We'll let it cook for a little bit, see if we can get it, get it higher than that. It looks like it's coming up. Bring it back down to 5.7. This thing is a kind of gimmicky, but it's the only thing I have that checks these types of tubes. Um, so, I, yeah, I'm really happy we saved the Bendix. I can't believe that actually worked. Um, I thought this thing was just going to be a part set, but not anymore. We saved it. So, yeah, we'll have a video series on this, the uh, Bendix model whatever. The UHF tuner from 1954. Yep. So we're hanging around seven. So the next next thing on our list is going to be uh, the Setchel Carlson, and this thing was like minty on the inside. 
uh, in really good shape. And then we'll take a look at the record players and the RCA radio. But I want to get through the TVs first. But yeah, we can we can do a resurrection repair on this this baby. I'm very happy that the CRT worked out. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. We're cooking it. Seven and a half, 750 micro microamps. So, very, very happy about this one. I am I'm very surprised that even worked. Now I'm going to carefully take that off and reattach that. Okay, this is a Setchel Carlson. This is actually a pretty good looking set. It's VHF ready too. I believe this is about a 1955. So let's get her open. Here we have a uh, intact CRT. This thing looks like it's got a few hours on it, but we're missing two, three, four, four tubes. And the flyback cage is open. But like I said, the tubes are indeed in here. You can see. There are the, the tubes that are out. Flyback looks good. Why somebody would pull the tubes out of it? Chassis and modules. Kind of cool. Focus plugs in. Yeah, kind of cool. Oh, that that socket's loose too. This has a one camera focus has a Mullard branded Cardinal CRT in it. So let's see how the Cardinal does. Okay, let's watch the Cardinal fire up. <sighs> Cathode doesn't look all blue. Oh, we already got emissions, too. Holy crap. I'm on 5 volts, too. Wow, I went, that's like brand new. That That's picturing what I see here. Not, not lots of dust. Holy crap, that's cut off. Wow, that's emissions. So cutoffs in the in the in the marginal range, it's still coming up. Cutoff is emissions are just perfect, man. I'm on 5.7 volts too. Wow, that that's a that's a, almost a brand new tube. Cutoff made it to the good range. Wow, that that sucker's that sucker's perfect. There's nothing wrong with that. That tube is, is like cherry. Along with this TV, the TV is in such good shape, too. It's in, you know, it is just immaculate. Sessual Carlson. So, CRT in this sucker is good. It's like brand new. I, 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 that's 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 a little bit hard to believe, you know. Got a lot of replacement tubes here, but wow. Yeah, Sechel Carlson is 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 rocking. Um, I think I'm gonna have to end the video here. I'm kind of hungry. Could go in the house get some Culvers. Um, but thanks for watching. We'll do an assessment on this stuff a little later. But yeah, two two good TVs. This one's got a marginal tube. That one's got a I, I got a rockin' CRT in it. So we'll do repair videos on both.